What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. Although I don't do too many mocks on the channel here, I felt so inspired by the last episode of The Book of Boba Fett that I wanted to go ahead and build the Mandalorian's Naboo Starfighter using 100% official LEGO parts and pieces. Now, the Naboo Starfighter is actually my favorite Star Wars ship, so I freaked out when this showed up on the screen, and I went ahead and built this mock because of how much I love it. Now, the mock is based off of this 2007 set, the Naboo N1 Royal Starfighter, uh, but I've just always loved that set. The one I just showed you, I got as a kid in 2007 for Easter. I'll never forget it, and I went ahead and modded it into this, so it's cool to give it a new life, and let's take a closer look at all the little uh, intricacies that I did here. All right, so let's start with the little turbines on either side. The cool thing is you can actually build this using almost all of the pieces that come from the original uh, Starfighter that this was based off of. You just need one extra of these for each side, so technically two of these plates here. Whoops, I forgot there was a missile under there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Anyways, I'll show you how I mounted this in a second, but basically you're just going to take all of the yellow parts out, put this piece here, and take these uh, gray pieces that were on the front and move them to the back. You'll need some poles to put in there too, but that's a relatively common piece. The same is true for the other side, so it's nice and even there. Then what you'll want to do is when you come to the center part, go ahead and take these two long pieces and move them one stud to the side. Then I put these pole guns in here. And what I did from there, let me zoom in the camera, is I did a one by one stud with a hole in it, then a pole, and then this little Technic pin on each end to make the machine guns outside there. Moving up, you can see that I did his little block engine, which kind of looked like a gun to me. Uh, I guess we'll see in The Mandalorian Season 3 what this does. But to build this, I ended up putting a 2x2 two two jumper plate there, a 1x1 one one with a hole so that the hole can go into this piece here. This is a 1x2 with a bar with these two little pieces here. I don't know what that's called, but you can see what it looks like. A 1x2 jumper and then this 2x2 two two round jumper just sits on there like that. So again, we haven't really seen it in action, but if it could be aimed or shot or anything, then you could certainly do that. Then moving up to the Mandalorian's cockpit here, I used the same cockpit, that way you get the uh, writing on the side that looks like the Naboo Starfighter. I left some yellow pieces in there just as a tribute to the original, because again, it is my favorite Star Wars ship, but the Mandalorian fits in there nice and snug. Now moving back, you can see I put Grogu up in the bubble up top, Unfortunately, I only had two of these rounded pieces, so I had to use some white one substitute, but it honestly doesn't even look that bad, although it should all be gray. But I did put Grogu inside of the bubble here because, come on, I think we all know that's where they're going with putting that bubble there. So that was cool. Then moving back here, I used some light blue here just to kind of make it have a little bit more shine. And you can kind of see what I did there with two 1x6s on top of each other with a 1x6 flat plate up top. Those are jumpers the whole way down to run to this 1x4 slope. Underneath here, there's a 2x2, two two, what I call a drape piece, with a 1x2 jumper and a pole. And you can see underneath here the pieces that I used to give it that nice curved look. Now something that I thought was cool that I integrated from the original build, let me get this more in focus there, is in the original you were supposed to be able to open this to drop R2-D2 out of the astromech port, but I like the idea that this could be storage for Mando's guns, so I really like that. And the cool thing is, is you could lift Grogu's bubble up like that and access the gun area in there. It's not a perfectly engineered build like a Lego set might be. Maybe I'll keep tinkering with it, but it was good enough to go ahead and make this video. Then last but not least, you saw it, that missile shot out earlier. That missile is shot when you push this back. So since there was this big Technic pin sitting underneath there, I went ahead and used this base that I built. Pretty simple. You could see all the pieces to insert that there. And then you've got a little stand to display the whole thing on. So let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts on this mock. All right, guys, well, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of this build. Of course, I'm not the best mock builder in the world, but remember, Lego isn't about being the best. It's all about using your imagination and having fun. And that's what I do here on the channel, and that's what I hope to inspire you guys to do as well. So be sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.
Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.